uh, welcome back to my channel so in this video we will add uh, the functionalities for reach button uh, so this is just a simple way uh, on on how to use different overlay states for als uh, people who are working on their own project uh, you, you guys would have already have a method uh, to switch between your uh, your weapons or, uh, or whatever the player is handling so for uh, I'll just show the basic method on how to assign for uh, each button, but uh, the logic might differ for each of your project. Uh, people who are uh, following my tutorial series, I'll upload upload a separate video on how to uh, integrate this radial menu with the TPS series. Uh, so uh, stay tuned for that. So for each button, uh, press on on uh, uh, clicked and this is left button so i'll move this to the left button here uh, and uh, here i'll i'll call the function which is already there in als target and the left button is our pistol so i'll put pistol here and uh, once uh, uh, we have clicked it we have to close the menu and we have to call whatever is uh, whatever logic we have put in on hover or else uh, when we reopen the menu again uh, you'll get back uh, get the menu with the same uh, uh, state where in, where it was already so put a sequence here and uh, in one connect it here and for two we have to close the menu and while closing the menu there are few things we we did uh, when closing this menu so we need all these to be executed when we close it so better create a custom event then name it as close weapon menu and uh, connect it here and we will call this for uh, this event from here so we have to call this uh, from our uh, on the on our uh, weapon menu. So create the player controller ref here and uh, from here set the player controller ref to self okay now from my weapon menu you can get this player controller ref and call the close weapon menu so that whenever we close this all all those uh, flow we added here so all the flow we added here will get executed so let me add for a couple of buttons and uh, show you how it how this looks so for left button i have added for uh, right button so it's almost the same function so i'll uh, copy it right away so for left we had pistol so i'll select pistol here for right i'll keep as rifle and Let's see. So if I click on uh, pistol, it's changed to pistol overlay state, and when I click on rifle, it's changed to rifle overlay state. Uh, I'll assign something for uh, the center button.
so again it's, it's the same logic uh, I'll just move this to default and uh, connect this gear so now okay now uh, if you see here when I uh, I'm moving now when I change to something character stops then once I uh, repress the move key only the character starts running again so to avoid that uh, keep the character moving click on uh, click on the button here uh, center button and scroll down here and remove is focusable so you have to do this for each button to avoid the character from uh, losing its control uh, and stopping when you click it now let's see so the character is moving I am opening the menu so character still runs it doesn't stop So for other buttons, I haven't added anything, so nothing happens here. So once I add this, I mean that will work. So I'll just add and show. Okay, top button we have added touch. So I'll stop button. Top, top left then top right Top button uh, is torch. Top left button, I think I have give, give binoculars here. And top right, it's bow and arrow. works seamlessly okay so I think uh, I've covered almost all the topics required uh, to create uh, a radial menu if in case you want me to cover anything else in this radial menu please uh, mention that in comments and uh, thanks for all thanks to all my patrons who were supporting me through this journey uh, thanks a lot and uh, for people who have been following my TPS series I'll put a separate video on how to integrate this uh, radial menu to the TPS project uh, but before that video I'll be posting few more uh, uh, videos on how to add the third weapon uh, like uh, how uh, you, you guys would have seen the TPS v2 template uh, so like that uh, uh, I will be adding a third weapon so player will be having one pistol one uh, 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 rifle and one sniper or any other big guns so I'll, I'll post some videos on how to do that and after that I'll put an uh, integration video thank you thanks for watching thanks for all the support bye